Well, here it is, the runt of the litter. It is a lettuce plant that came up in spite of bad seeds. I had several that were planted and this is the only one that has come up and I just kind of felt a little bit sorry for it. So I'm thinking about transferring it over to a cracky, passive, non-circulating system. So this is what I'm going to end up doing. This is a half gallon canning jar and so what I've done is converted it over to a cracky, passive container. And what I'm going to end up doing is filling this up with water and a half strength Dynagro solution. So what I've done is filled the container up with water. And it wasn't just a judgment or a guess because I put the uh, plant in and measured up to about where I would like to have the uh, roots touching the water, as well as having some gas exchange above the water. I'll be using AeroGuard nutrients. And since a half gallon jar is similar to an air garden sprout. I could use the same measurements. So four milliliters of their nutrients should be enough. So what I'm going to do is just drop that in. I like to give that an extra squeeze or two just to make sure that the uh, nutrients go in and it helps to clean out the uh, dropper that I use for putting in nutrients. The top of this jar, I'm going to use a product from Urban Hydroculture, and that's what that looks like. It's a 3D print. It fits the uh, AeroGarden seed basket because of the grooves, so I'm going to set that on top. And the next step is I'm going to put the screw band of the jar right over the top of that and thread that right back down. So if I were to take this AeroGarden basket I could sit that right into the center. Matter of fact, let me show you from the top. So what I'm going to do is just drop that right down in and I'm gonna turn it until the ribs on the basket fit right into the uh, top of the jar, right where that is at. Inside the jar, you can see the water level with the nutrients and how I've left a little bit of air and the rest of the roots that are underwater. To prevent the growth of algae inside of the jar with the nutrients, what I've done is I've taken a pair of uh, child's um, leggings that are stretchy and I clipped off the end of one of the legs and I just slid this right over the top of the jar and that is what uh, it's going to end up looking like because this will help to keep the algae from growing inside and allow the lettuce to continue to grow on top. And this is considered a fill once and forget method. I should get enough to have a small head of lettuce. This is a very small variety of lettuce and should be sufficient for the roots to grow all the way down to the bottom as it uses nutrients. Until I get a light set up that is going to be sufficient for this smaller unit, I've just set it on top of another hydroponic system. And I've already measured the PPFD and it's coming out to right around uh, 400 PPFD, which is a little high for lettuce, but it should be okay to start out this experiment. So hopefully this is just going to be part of my uh, getting back into uh, Crack Key Hydroponics and a fun little experiment.